All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I've been going over a series of videos where I've been creating a fairly simplistic body mass index, or BMI, program in several languages to kind of show where we've come over our time here at Rankin Technical College. And so far, I've done one in JavaScript, one in jQuery, a C-sharp console, and a C-sharp GUI, and it's time to go and do a an ASP.NET project. This one will be a little different because all the other ones I've done some prep work. Well, this one, to be honest with you, I've done none, so it's going to be interesting. This was the C-sharp one that we had done previously, so I'm going to do a file, close solution here, and file, new, project, and I want to do an ASP.NET web project. This is going to go into the Zero five ASP.NET folder, and again it will be called BMI. Now this is not going to look all that different. Let's see. We'll use a web forms project, I believe. But this isn't going to look probably all that different from one that we've done in class. I think we did the future value one in class but uh, like I said it's just coming off the top of my head so we'll see how it goes all right so I've got all this stuff yeah you created a project etc I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll put it into our about page because right now in the about page there yeah I know there virtually is nothing in there, as you can see. All right, just got a title. And it says, use this area for additional information. So that's what we'll do. So um, why don't we put in here, body mass index program, something like that. That should be good. And then let's get rid of this paragraph where it says, use this to provide additional information. And let's start by creating a uh, let's start by creating a table, but we can't create a table directly from in here or not easily. So I'm going to go into design mode, and there it is right now. And I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go to table, insert table, and it'll have what uh, two columns. And a row for height, a row for weight, a row for BMI, a blank row, and a row for the button. So we'll say five rows. I'm not going to do anything special with a padding or anything else. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, and I'm going to come over here and use our standard tools. Let's throw a label and a label and a label. All right, we'll fill those in later. And a uh, text box. Oh, I don't want that text box there. So let's see. Actually, I want to move this over. So that'll work. So a, I want that to go here. A text box and a text box. And another label here, which will hold our answer. This row will be blank. And then let's put a button down here. And that'll say calculate. And another button down here, which will just have clear. And now that I think of it, I'm going to have something else in here too. So clear, 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 uh, button. All right, I'm going to go back into my source, and I think I'm going to add to both rows, I'm going to add a couple more columns. For now, I'll just put NBSP, non breaking space. For now, we'll change that in a bit. Put one there. We'll put 
one there. That's the two text boxes. The label. Even though this next one is empty, we'll put them in there anyway. And we don't need any for our buttons, but just to be complete, I'll put them in there also. So now I should have four of these. Good. All right, let's just start making some changes. So for the label here, let's put in height, weight, whoops, and BMI. All right. With each one of these, I don't know if it'll let me do this, but I'm going to try. Yep, I can do a B on there. So let's see. Uh, we'll have to work on that in a little bit. So Just trying to think of how I want to set this thing up. Like I said, normally I would have done more work than I did to set this up, but I didn't, so I'm not making any excuse. It's just the way it worked out. All right, so let's start here. Text box height. Text box weight. Um, this will be label BMI. not going to go nuts here with all the stuff that I'm setting up so and our buttons this will be button calculate one will be button clear. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. I could clean this up more, I'm sure, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Go back into design mode so you can see right now what it looks like. All right. This button should have on it, uh, <clears throat> for its text, it should have the word calculate on it. And this button should have on it the word clear. Pretty obvious, hopefully at least. Let's see once it, this button is... Uh, this button will do the calculation and put the results here. This button will clear everything. So let's write the code for the clear button because that will have uh, text box 
height dot text equals empty string text box weight dot text equals the empty string the label bmi dot text equals the empty string and the text box height dot focus all right let's see if we can run this i shouldn't get any errors it's not going to be pretty it's not going to do a whole heck of a lot right now but then we'll start adding some stuff all right like i said it may be pushed over a little bit but i'm not going to worry about any of that stuff right now there we go i've i've created worse how's that and if i come in here and click clear everything clears good that's about all i could ask for right now i don't really need this thing that says about so i can move the body mass index program up into that tag right there i think i'll do that it'll look a little bit cleaner a little bit nicer Again, the calculate button now does nothing. All right, so come back up here. And that's our code. So I want to come back to the about.aspx page, go into the source, come back up here. This title, that's where we're getting the word about. Yeah, we'll leave it. That's okay. All right, so let's think about what we want to do here. All right, because I'm trying to, to bring in or incorporate some of the um, stuff for the actual, uh, you know, some of the stuff that we'd actually use. So let's see, we're going to come in here. We're going to make each, the height and the weight both required fields. So let's go to validators. And the required field validator we're going to put one in there for both of them all right move this I'm going to move this over and I'm also going to have a compare validator for each one of these we'll set those up and then we'll write our code all right so let's see don't remember I'm trying I, I'm trying to remember if there's a way to, to go and make this more justified without using CSS but if there is I don't remember what it is so we'll just kind of do it like this push that stuff together etc that's not going to look bad all right so let's go back and we're going to go into source mode cut this way the heck down all right <clears throat> So this first one here is going to be uh, our required field validator. We're going to call it required field validator height. As always, run at equals server. Error message will be height, and we'll put in here 12 through 96 required all right the other one before we do the comparer validator the other one we're going to have uh, this will be required field weight <clears throat> and I know there's more I've got to set up here also and the error message will be very similar to the one we put in for height, so I'm going to just steal that one. And that one will say weight, instead of height, of course. 1 through 777 required. All right, let's just take a look at what we've got so far. All right, this is going to look a little bit more collapsed because I moved the fields closer together. Hopefully it's going to look a little more the way I'd like it to look. Oh, I'm going to get an error message. Yeah. <clears throat> the control to validate field cannot be left blank. So let's go fill that in. I do like the way it's looking now. It's looking much cleaner. 
All right, so let's go back to here and stop this. And we've got to start adding our stuff. So that's the error message. Next, we have to say control to validate equal in that the, the, the control we want to validate is text box height. And we also have that error. What is the thing for error? I got to come back into here. So let's go back into design mode. All right, there's our message. CSS class. We're going to actually create one of those right now. I'm sorry, like I said, actually, I'm not sorry. I'm doing this off the top of my head because it's a good way for me to go back and get back into the swing of things for ASP.NET. So it is what it is. All right, so source. Let's come back up to the top here. Uh, after we got the title, it's the body content, page title. I'm just going to throw it up here. I'm not sure if that's the best place to do it, but... I'm going to do it here. Whoops. I'm going to do it here anyway. Uh, dot error. That's going to be the name of my class. And I'm just going to say font weight bold color red. All right. I'm going to do that. So I've got my control to validate now should have I think everything I need oh I want to set my CSS error class too for that so all right and again not to cheat but since I'm doing a very similar thing I'm going to grab this and I'm going to throw it down here oh that should have been weight there and the one up here ah. okay that's height so that's looking good let's check on that and see what that looks like Hopefully I've changed it. the control to validate for compare. Okay. Oh, that's for the compare validator. So I've got to change those also. Not a problem. All right. So for this compare validator, which we've started to do, this will be compare validator height. And for the error message, we'll make that Try to make that must be numeric 12 through 96. Kind of what we said before, but that still is okay. And again, control to validate and the CSS class. Just steal those from up above. I think I'm going to grab all of this, bring that down here. This will be weight. cleanup work while I'm doing this. Paste that in now. Must be numeric and this one will say 1 through 777. Control to validate will be the weight. The error class. Delete 
add any more. Now, let's see if we save it and run it. <clears throat> what I'm looking for right now is how it looks and does it react correctly. In other words, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. <clears throat> I'm going to leave them blank, calculate. That's good. All right, so let's put in something that's out of range. Okay, that's good. All right. I didn't, for the compare validator, I didn't put the values in there. So for some reason, it still doesn't like, oh, I know what it is. It's looking at these right now as being strings. That doesn't work, but the clear works. Clear doesn't work. So we'll have to work on that also. All right, so let's stop the run. <clears throat> For our compare validators, we've got to go back to each one of them. There's the required one. We want the display to be dynamic, which means don't show it unless you need it. We want the display for this one to be dynamic. We want the display for this one to be dynamic. And we want the display for this one to be dynamic. For the compare, <clears throat> And now that I think about it, it shouldn't have been a compare validator. It should have been a range validator. So we go back into design mode here and source. And let's see. Let's change this from compare to range. All right. And also change that one for us automatically. That's good. All right, so the ID should be range validator height. All right, the other one, and we're going to have to make another change too, but that's okay. We'll make that in a moment. This again will be a range validator. Validator rather. This will be range. And down here that's range good that already changed but now since they're range validators we've got to go back again into our design mode and let's go over to here so this is our range validator we have to give it the range so we have to tell it not the control of the validate etc got the ID I'm hoping it yeah it's says here range validator so that's good the type that's why it's screwed up. The type is going to be integer. <clears throat> the minimum val maximum value for height is going to be 96. The minimum value for height is going to be 12. That's good. That should clear up some of that. The maximum value for weight is 777. The minimum value is 1. And again, the type is integer. So let's look at that and see if that cleared up anything. After that, it's just a matter of plugging in the code. So leave that off. We get those. That's good. We get our messages. That's good. Clear. Still not clearing. and calculate. I remember there's something too that I think we have to do as far as setting up the um, the jQuery. So I'll have to go look at that. And we are already at 25 minutes, so this will become a two-part presentation. This is the end of part one.